<sighs> I guess we have to rip the band-aid off. The stupidest news story of the day. Always a hotly contested title. Biden decried for proclaiming Transgender Visibility Day on Easter Sunday. Easter happens on a different day every year. It just happened to happen on Trans Visibility Day this year. That is how time and calendars work. There's really nothing to it. White House. Now to this. Critics say Biden and the woke mob are taking a swipe at Christians this Easter. This year, Easter Sunday falls on Transgender Visibility Day, which is traditionally on March 31st. But this year, not only did Fairfax County, Virginia, make an official proclamation for Easter Sunday, so did President Biden. Biden was the first president ever to issue an official proclamation for Transgender Day of Visibility, and this was back in 2021. And in his proclamation this year, he said, quote, today we send a message to all transgender Americans. You are loved. You are heard you are understood, you belong, you are America, and my entire administration and I have your back. And since Easter happens on a different day every year, because it's not consistent, inevitably, at some point, Easter would happen on the 31st of March. The Fairfax County Board making a similar proclamation this week. I'm just very happy that we're recognizing uh, a community that has too often been pushed into the shadows and celebrating uh, yet another um, community within our diverse tapestry here in Fairfax County. This is what you're supposed to be mad at, by the way. If you're a Fox News boomer who's glued to your couch and never has anything to do because your grandparents, or sorry, your grandchildren don't call and you're retired, like, you're supposed to be seething mad at that. Like, that Fairfax County thing, you're so, ooh, yeah, like that, that's supposed to really get your blood going, you know? Okay, so this day actually goes back to 2010. And when President Biden first made this proclamation back in 2021, that year Easter was on April 4th. Except this year, they both happen on the same day, Lisa. But it's also a random day created by a random person out of Michigan in the same way that I could declare March 30th is the day of Lisa. Uh, the White House. Yes, that is how declared holidays work. If you declare a holiday, you choose a day. And then that is the day. You could make March 30th Lisa Day if you wanted. The difficulty would be getting other people to recognize it. But yeah, okay. It's also banned religious themed designs from the White House Easter uh, egg art contest. When the whole point of Easter is to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is a religious holiday, a religious celebration. There is something called the separation of church and state. The state should make efforts to not be preferential in uh, recognition of any specific religion. Obviously, there's a lot of inconsistency in how well we adhere to this. Uh, Easter is regarded as a secular holiday by many people, just the same way that Christmas is. Easter bunny, you know, not in the Bible. Uh, to celebrate the day of trans visibility in and of itself is an affront to Christianity because... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, there's nothing in the Bible about painting eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the traditionally Christian practice of hiding Easter bunny eggs and then finding them. You know, the thing that God demands you do. As the Bible says that God made man and he made woman. He made male and female. To say otherwise is to deny the truth, is to deny God's creation. Uh, also well, it's a good thing that, that God isn't real and Christians don't uh, determine literally everything done in this country. I like uh, it's it's just I don't know. It is remarkable how this far along the um okay, first of all, if you really want to get to it, okay, man made Adam and Eve. Man didn't say shit about male and female, okay? Eve was made from a rib. Uh it like is that biological reality? Are you to tell me that the Bible lays out like gametes and and chromosomes and shit? No, come on, okay? Like God is literally a he him and be all right have you have you ever watched dennis prager's video on why god must be a father and he's literally explaining how god is a father figure despite not having a biological sex so he's using male by according to him biological male pronouns for uh, a an entity that does not have a biological sex because it's god it's the christian god and uh you know Jesus was biologically male. Yeah, was, and then transitioned to being a god. You know, Je it's, that's that's canon. You know, Jesus is both fully man and fully divine. You know, they settled that one a long time ago. Yeah, assigned male at birth, but... So, to do it on Easter is blasphemous. You can even go back to the last trans day of visibility. Into I invite you to cry about it. 2023, he celebrated after Christian 
individuals were murdered by a trans person at the Covenant School in Nashville. And then the White House proceeded to go on. Wasn't and that transgender individual also himself Christian? That was just a regular school shooting. The person who did it just happened to be trans. Like, yeah, just no, no connection or relationship. This would be like saying you can't celebrate Easter because the day before Easter, Christians kill people, which they did. They always have because there are a lot of Christians. So statistically speaking. And say that it was a trans community under attack, not Christianity. So I am so sorry True. that I believe that Joe Biden understands the optics of it. And he is doing this intentionally. And he is the optics of recognizing the pre-existing date that is uh trans day of visibility you know this a sacrilegious act being deliberately pushed to uh to 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 push satanism you know and and destroy christianity or something something isn't joe biden catholic yes he's also which is rare for a politician he's an actual catholic like all of joe biden's life there's a pretty consistent record of him going to church and praying and actually being religious whereas the same cannot be said of basically every single republican who claims to be christian like donald trump right now is literally selling donald trump themed bibles the only trump approved bibles i'm not kidding which is one of the most transparently like shamelessly grifter acts i could imagine it's it, it's absolutely sacrilegious you know $60 Bibles ahead of Easter Sunday. Incredible. The only Trump approved Bible. What does that imply about the Bible, like the King James, you know? See, it's got God bless the USA in the front right there, you know? Do you think Trump has uh, ever read a single word from the Bible? No. Thumbing his nose at Christians and Easter, mm -hmm. and he's essentially spitting in the face of Christians everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. Defying God, worshiping Satan. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, we also have, there's a Virginia mom who told Fox News Digital, uh, Stephanie Lundquist, that, quote, they are intentionally trying to offend Christians on the holiest of days by forcing gender ideology down their throats. This is reprehensible and unbecoming of our elected representatives, David. Is it? It, it, is, it is kind of nice, I guess, how open they are in the position. Like, the Republican Party is fully committed to the belief that there should be no separation of church and state. I know it's difficult to imagine now, but for a long time, there, this is a Democrat saying this, by the way, you know, at least in nominally speaking, uh, but for a long time, like the separation of church and state was uh, a broadly accepted idea, at least to some extent, you know, and, and relatively recently, I guess, I don't know, maybe since the Reagan years, since the satanic panic, I guess, like there's been this massive ramping up in the just open position that there should be no separation of church and state, a position fronted almost entirely by, of course, Republicans. They're very transparent about it. Now, man, since the Red Scare, it's definitely ramped up since the Reagan years, but I agree it's never been an uncontroversial belief. Remember when Trump said he liked both the Old and New Testament equally? <gasps> yes! No, like. I don't want to do that. Are you I mean, an Old Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal, I think it's- Incredible! Phenomenal! You know this guy was thinking when he said that, this is like this guy's Alden's number. Like, he's thinking there's no way Trump- there's no way Trump has an answer to this. He doesn't know the difference. He doesn't know Old Testament guy or New Testament guy. What an unhinged question. No, no, no. It's a it's a based and red pill question. He's revealing Trump has literally no idea. Zero concept of what the Bible is. You know, I, I don't know the difference. What is it? Christians worship the New Testament. Saying New Testament or Old Testament is saying, do you like he's 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 saying, do you prefer the Bible or the Torah? what the Jews worship and read from, essentially. And he, because he doesn't know what either of them are, he's like, oh, I like them both, you know? Christians believe both. Yes, they believe both, but they pull from the New Testament. No actual Christian would answer uh, both uh, to that. Absolutely none. Like, uh, uh, maybe some, like, extremely crazy sect, uh, but, like, yeah, no. That's stupid. Why are Christians so dumb? Well, he's not a Christian, so... They pull sermons up from the old. Stop! Stop with the technicalities, guys. I'm aware. Okay, I'm fully aware. But if you if you know anything about Christianity, the idea that the New and Old Testament are like equal in the eyes of Christians completely nonsensical. Okay, like obviously, Christians will sometimes pull from the Old Testament when they want to be like you know weird and and trad or orthodox or homophobic or whatever the fuck, okay. But like we we know where these line up. Joe Biden Catholic. Yes. Okay, just checking. Um, I'm with Lisa. This is not a thing. It was made up. It's like Kwanzaa. It was. Okay.
was made up by somebody to do something. Who are they appealing to? There are roughly 1.6 million or so people in the U.S., according to some reports, that identify as transgender. Where are they going? But here's what they've done. They're gaslighting the American people because of the coincidence of this made-up day versus... It's, it's, a, it's a holiday. That's all holidays are made up. They, that's, how, that's how they work. All of them are. That's how they work. Holidays aren't found in nature. An actual day that means something to billions of people worldwide, not just here in the United States. They want us talking about them. And this whole thing with the Easter egg hunt. Now, you know, the funny thing about this is that the trans day of visibility falling on Easter really has kind of like overpowered Easter, hasn't it? Because all conservatives want to do is talk about trans people. Like, you'd think if they were actually devout Christians or Catholics or whatever, that they would be talking about Easter, and they would be, like, trying to push out the presence of trans people from this day. But instead, all they can do is talk about trans people, because they're not actually religious, and they're just grifting over it. I've been to a few of those. It's a lot of fun. You eat a lot of too many eggs. But part of it was people expressing themselves. So now the government, under the Biden auspice, will tell you that you can't present a religious first amendment a religious imagery on an egg you, first of all you don't eat the eggs it's there's the eggs it's you eat candy and the eggs are not a part of the jesus ritual it's just that's the secular part of easter did this guy just say eat too many eggs yeah because he doesn't because none of them believe in any of this this is this is one of those controversies that is like entirely grift. Like there's there's no substantial element to it. Every single I saw um Caitlyn Jenner on Twitter was saying that it was like satanic for a trans day of visibility to fall on Easter when back in I think 2011 she said happy trans day of visibility on Easter. Uh it happened before. Like it's it, it's completely made up. None of them believe it. Oh, 2017, not 2011? Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, 20, uh, 2017. Wasn't Easter a pagan holiday? I mean, so was Christmas, right? It's always like that. I mean, again, this is... Get, this. I'm even more cynical than Lisa. This is... Get well, I would be calm. <laughs> yeah, how and could I'm you be that calm? Because I know you're not. No, but seriously, they're just gaslighting us into this topic. This is... Gaslighting doesn't mean anything anymore. It has no meaning. The word has no meaning whatsoever is false just like this quote day of visibility you're visible every other day of the year okay joey i'm gonna have to get you on the next one i'm so sorry yeah. there i gotta go click wait if so wait is he implying that trans people are actually visible every other day boss you actually do eat the colored eggs they're hot i have never seen people eat the damn eggs okay people eat candy on easter if any of you degenerates actually out there eating hard-boiled eggs on Easter. That's your problem, and I don't care for your... I, I don't care. Keep that in the bedroom, all right? I don't I don't believe in that. More of a European thing. I don't believe in them either. Apparently, some freaks eat the hard, uh, the colored hard-boiled eggs. It's wild. Yeah, sickening. Truly truly revolting, you know? That's the real sacrilegious behavior on, 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 on Easter, you know, on this holy day. We mean the chocolate eggs. You don't paint the chocolate eggs. The chocolate is a horrible canvas to paint on. There are things called choco eggs. You don't paint the choco eggs. You don't hard boil them either. We do here. You hard boil the chocolate eggs, Dr. Strange Strange. No, we paint the chocolate eggs. Why would you paint? Th That's not true. They make edible paint. We're not talking about the edible, the edibility, the whatever of the paint. That's not. We're moving on. We're moving on. Chat is unlocked. All of these pagans are sharing their degenerate rituals on this holy day. Jesus would not want you eating eggs of any kind only chocolate. If they're chocolate eggs, then you don't paint them and hide them because you don't paint on chocolate because chocolate is a terrible medium for paint. It's not about the paint being food safe. We're moving on. Pagans, this is normal everywhere outside the US. Yeah, like I said, pagans. Do you think Jesus ever had chocolate? Probably not, right? Like chocolate from cocoa beans? I don't even know if chocolate as we understand it would have been around 2000 years ago, but even if it was, that shit was all the way over in like Latin America, right? Or Southern America, I guess. Chocolate is a new world bean. Yeah, that's crazy. This paint discussion is literally an it's always sunny bit and I'm convinced Chad is Charlie. You think chat's, chat's like, oh boy, Easter. Hard boiling a bunch of eggs and then dipping them in like housing paint and just eating them whole or whatever. I, I, would, I wouldn't I would put it past them. They used to have honey before chocolate. Well, yeah, I mean, honey is relatively easy to get, I guess. That's why Moses was promised a uh, land of milk and honey, because that was like the tastiest shit they had back then. Real, real alt history Chad questions are like, what if you went back to ancient Egypt when Moses was fleeing uh, with like a bag of 
Fuego Takis, you know? What could you do with that power? I feel like you could probably join the elite priesthood of the ancient Egyptians pretty easily with that, if nothing else, right? Uh, or, or like, convinced that you're, like, an emissary of God. You could, you could do a lot with that, I think. No, it's not, Vosh, but you're completely ignorant on this. Collecting honey is difficult. Why do you always, why do you people talk to me this way? Who you, you, learn your place, scum, chatter, you, God. Yeah, to every stream, it's somebody does this. I don't like, you ignorant piece of shit, Vosh, you don't even know. Collecting honey is difficult. Okay. Oh, fine. But they could do it back then, and they couldn't make chocolate. All you have to do is knock down uh, a beehive, uh, and then you get the honey. Okay, I've played Minecraft. I don't actually know how you get honey in Minecraft. I have no idea. Honey doesn't expire. You could eat honey from 3,000 years ago. Yeah, that, that's really cool. It's like, one of the, it's, it's like one of the only food things that just never goes bad. It's, it's weird. It's very chemically stable. It's like perfectly chemically stable, you know? It does expire when it crystallizes. You, you, can, you can eat crystallized uh, honey. You need smoke to make the bee sleepy. Well, you don't need to do that. You can just get stung a bunch, you know? Like a, like a chad. You know honey is good for wounds, it's antiseptic. I didn't know that, but if it's that chemically stable, I guess that makes sense. You can also eat moldy food if you remove the mold. No, that's not true, actually. If you see mold on food, that means that the tendrils of the mold have already snaked their way into the whole food item, or at least, if not the whole food item, most of it. You don't want to risk it. You can't remove the moldy part of the bread. Now, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, you actually can remove the bad mold from certain types of cheese because some cheeses are dense enough that there can only be external mold. It can't make their way in. It has to be like hard cheese, you know? Soft cheese, no, it's in there. I still wouldn't risk it. If you had like a block of sharp cheddar and there was some mold on the edge, I, I think you're fine to remove it, but you would want to remove all of the exterior because there could still be... The mold could have still made its way across the surface of it, you know, I think. Uh, I, I Don't look it up before you try. Eating mold is bad for you. It really is. It's, it, it's a, a carcinogen. Um, it can do bad things to your body. It's not just food poisoning. Like food poisoning is like you get sick or whatever. It, it can be really bad. Sometimes it's like just whatever. Uh, mold can be pretty bad for you. But I love blue cheese. Well, blue cheese is fine. Blue cheese is delicious, even. Yeah, it depends on the mold. But I'm not a mold expert, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna roll those dice, you know. Yeah, Vosh, the fungus you actually see is the last thing that grows. The invisible hyphae have been growing through it uh, for days at that point. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Don't eat black mold. Oh my God, don't eat black mold. Yeah, but I think like when mold appears on food, it's almost always light blue or white, right? That's um, I've never seen black mold grow on food. Food poisoning is a different thing entirely, right? I think food poisoning can be caused by, like, a ton of different things, and it all just gets labeled food poisoning because the basic thing, like, the, it can be a bunch of different things, but the thing it leads to is just, your body is upsetting spaghetti at you, it is flushing the system, goodbye, and then you shit and vomit a bunch, you know? I Like, like it can be caused by a bunch of different problems, but it all leads to the same thing, kind of like a cold, right? Where a cold can be, um, like, there are a couple of things that can that can lead to a cold, I guess. Yeah, terminal tummy hurt disease, exactly.